Hi, I'm Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a little s simple, <laughs> cute Valentine's look. I wanted to do a uh, Marilyn Monroe inspired Valentine look, but it ended up to be a little bit more Amy Winehouse, which is cool too. Have a cute little heart, which you can totally skip if it's a little bit too much for you, but yeah, this is the look. So if you want to see how I did this Marilyn Monroe, Amy Winehouse inspired Valentine's look, just keep on watching. Totally forget to say, if you like this video, I would be really, really happy if you would uh, give me a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe. It's free, it's cool, it's fun. Yeah, let's go on to the video. So, hello again. This is how we get started, ball faced and my hair is freshly washed and still on a gel cast so this is why it looks like this we gonna deal with it later first we're gonna moisturize our face or i gonna moisturize my face i have to say i'm gonna show you everything i used but it's not that you really need to use this thing so i'm just gonna tell you which color kind of color i'm gonna use and what, I'm, what product I'm gonna use, but not especially which brand. I'm gonna show it to you if you're interested, but it's not like you have to use this foundation or this primer or whatever, or this special eye palette. It's just like use a similar color. You get the same look. I feel the need to say this in advance because not every product I use is like a recommendation. It's valid because I just have it there. I used a foundation from Manhattan, which I really don't recommend, to be honest. It's horrible on my skin. I tried to build it up to have a little bit more coverage with it, but it just, yeah, enhanced my dry spots and everything. You don't see it that much on the camera, but in real, it's not a recommendation. But I tried to try it out again since I have a foundation fails video where I tried it out and it was horrible but I didn't have a primer at that time. And now I wanted to try it again with a primer to see if it was kind of my fault that it didn't work out. But yeah, no, it's just no recommendation if you have really dry skin like I have. Then after the foundation, we use concealer. I have one from Essence, which is kind of okay. It's the only one I have at the moment. So I use it, it's okay. It's not full coverage, but it gives a little bit of coverage. Since the foundation didn't give me enough coverage, you can still see some uh, red spots on my face and uh, under eye circles. I wasn't really happy with the outcome. I used the concealer too as an um, eye base, which is pretty good if you want to even out the color of your eyelids. And I used the Healthy Glow powder from Catrice, which I'm really not unhappy with. First thing in the day, which I'm really okay with. The powder is really good to even out the skin a little bit more, to blur out imperfections. And it doesn't give much coverage, but it mattifies pretty well. Then I used blush from BH Com Cosmetics, which is the Tulip Blusher, which is a curly, curly, peachy, rosy kind of color. And I just use it on the outer edge of my cheeks. I don't like to use blusher on the apples of my cheeks. I just like it more like on the edge of my cheeks, putting in a little bit up to my temples and putting it over the bridge of my nose. Then I used from Freedom Makeup a darker, a little bit more violety, ready color. It's and basically it's an eyeshadow, but I like to use it as a blush. I, I used it on the very edge of my cheeks. So on the edge of the blush we did before, so it gets kind of an ombre kind of blush look and to on my temples and off the bridge of my nose.
Then I use the bronzer. I think everybody need, needs to use the bronzer, which um, is the best for their skin color. I'm pretty fair, so mine isn't really dark. I use it under the blusher and a little bit on my temples and off the bridge, on the bridge of my nose too. And I try to blend everything a little bit together with the blush. Then I use again a little bit of my, a little bit or a lot of my powder to blend it all together. Like I said, the powder doesn't have really a color, so it's just good for blending everything together and even out the blusher with the bronzer and everything. Then we need to do the eyebrows, which, yeah, I think everybody has a system to do their eyebrows. I'm not really a pro on doing my eyebrows. I just fill them in a little bit to make them darker. I try to grow them out like for years now, but it doesn't really happen, so they're really not tamed at all, but I'm okay with that. Then I used an eyebrow gel, which I think is pretty useless on my brows. It's okay. I just wanted to use it because I have it there, but I think I'm gonna declutter it really soon because I don't have really use for it. Then I used the Huda Beauty palette for the eyes, but like I said, you can use every every color you want or every palette you want. I used the skin color light brown to set my eyelids again and to even out everything. Then I used an orangey color on my eyelids everywhere on the movable lid to have a base. Then I used a red color in the crease and on the edge of my eyelid. I used a fluffy brush to blend it out above the crease. And I used the same red color to put a little bit on the edge of my lower lash line just on the outer edge and then blend it out again with the fluffy brush. Then I use the brown and put it on the outer edge of the crease of my eye, just on the outer edge, so it give a little bit more dimension and depth. I didn't put it up or blend it up, I just let it there on the outer edge. Then I use this lilac -y, violet, sparkly, metallic color and put it in the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> a little bit above and a little bit under and put it um, under my lower lash line, but just in the inner corner. And I put it on the outer edge of my eye, so I have the darkest color on the outside, in the inside, which make my eyes look rounder since it's the lightest in the middle of my eyeball, of my eyelid. <laughs> Blend everything together so it's smooth. Then I use a pinkish, goldish color in the middle under my eyelid, but I quickly change my mind about it and use the silver one. So you can skip this totally. Here we go. I use a silver color and put it in the middle under my lower lash line and took it a little bit um, between my lower lashes but not on the waterline because glitter you shouldn't put on your waterline. I tried to blend it as much up as I could and I put it on the inner corner of my eye to give some highlight. Then I 
Then I used black eyeliner. I used one from Ico, but it's totally what you have there. It's the only one I have, so I used this one. It's okay, it does its job, but I think every black eyeliner will do the job. It's first time since years that I did uh, wings, so bear with me. <laughs> but I think I did a pretty good job. To do the first one, it's pretty easy. You can do it, everybody can do it. And then try to match the second one, which is a little bit more complicated, but it wasn't as hard as I thought. It's not perfect, perfectly. They're more like sisters than twins, but it's okay. Then we draw a little hard to have a heart shaped beauty spot on our face near the lip. Just take your time with it, draw a little heart, it's easy, it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just give this extra violent the Amy Winehouse Marilyn Monroe chic look. Then of course we use mascara. Use mascara you have I really like this one from Benefit, the Roller Lash one, but I think everybody has a favorite mascara and just, yeah, use it. I also go, went pretty wild on my lower lashes to make them big and really try to make them big on my upper lashes. You can use false lashes if you want to, but this mascara works pretty well for me and gives really long and voluminous lashes since I have naturally pretty long lashes. So I don't feel the need to use false lashes like ever and it's not really my thing. I like it a little bit more naturally I guess and I just can't bother with it. So if you want to use false lashes if it's your thing, good, go for it. If you don't want to, don't. Next we go for lipstick. Since I thought about Marilyn Monroe and Amy Winehouse, I did a red lip, but I changed my mind afterwards, so bear with me. So you have a few options here, which I tried out. Firstly, we have a bolder red lip. We have in total three lip options, so this one is the first one to red lip. Then I wanted to darken it a little bit more and just use a dark red lip gloss over it. which would be the second option. Like a more browny, red, dark, glossy lip. And then I start my hair, which is basically just crunching out the gel, gel cast out of my hair, which make it pretty voluminous and 80s-like, but I like it just the natural way my hair wants to go. Then I changed my mind about the lips, blotted it and was like, meh, no. Took it off and used a Revlon, like chubby stick, like I don't know the name. <laughs> like a colored lip balm thingy in a more your lips, but better and a little bit darker and matter and not that much in your face lip which is the third option which I like the best. 